My name is Anne, and welcome to my Southern Housewife's Life. Come along on my journey as I discover life as a Southern Housewife. Our journey began in Buffalo, New York, across country to Phoenix, Arizona. And now, beautiful South Carolina. Stop by and say hey. We are on our way out for a little outing today. We've got some errands to run. We're going to go to Costco. Um, say hi, baby. Hello. Are we going to... I have a lot. I have a list. Here's my list. Uh, I'm going to go to um, Bilo and Costco. And our, I have a big list. Are we like monthly shopping probably or just try to get us by for a while? You know, I, I would like to get three weeks maybe out of it. You know, yeah. we'll have to definitely drop in and pick something small up, I'm sure. Yeah. You know, but we'll just do our best and see what we can get. I'm up with you. If we're going to buy it in bulk, you might as well go to Costco, but I'm sure it's cheaper by the uh, large quantities than, you know. I find that it is. I don't, I mean, we've always felt that way. We've been cautious shoppers all of our life, mm -hmm. but um, Costco's a bit different than BJ's and Sam's, don't you think? For some reason, I don't know why. Yeah. It seems like the same, but it's yeah. not. It's yeah, different. yeah, I agree with you there. You, it's a $200 store is what it is. <laughs> you, get a, you walk out of there without paying $200, you've won the Costco <laughs> battle for the day. $199, you won. But $200, they got you. Yeah, I agree. David, last time we were there, they were doing this thing where they were trying to upsell you to the, what was that plan called? It was um the plan that, it, I, I think it's like the next the membership next level up. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it's kind of, you know, uncomfortable in a way because they come up there and they're like, Oh, hey, well, you do enough shopping here. Uh, you can, well, we'll give you a discount on our platinum membership, and then you'll you'll get a money in return. But what it is, it's pretty much a hit to get you to pay, like, 70 bucks, bam, right now, an additional 70 in your bill. So if you're happy with what you got, if you have a Costco in your area, just, it's up to you if you want it. But I don't know. I just don't like being jumped on like that. That's a decision that I don't make really quick. It's just one of those things that, you know what, let me think about it. What are the benefits and everything? Because they try to get you when you're right in line. Yeah, and, right when and it's really chaotic. uncomfortable. Yeah, so in that case, what I wanted to do, he's like, oh, well, yes, we'll give you the membership, you know, the, the gold membership for 70 bucks today. It's $30 off. I kind of wanted to say to him, I'm like, well, you know what? Why don't you give it to me for 30 bucks, and then, then I'll, I'll do that today since you're hitting me right in line. But uh, I just didn't think of it quick enough. <laughs> yeah. Well, he got you. He got us. And like like Bo said, at the very end of, right when we're like cashing out, putting our stuff on the register or on the belt, and you're, it's so quick to get in and out of a, a store in general. So to have them like have you decide on something that's, you know, different, um, something that's going to cost you an additional $40, $70 at checkout when you're already your Costco. Come on now. It's going to cost you a lot of money. And that day, it cost us quite a bit of money. So to have them just hit you like that, just send, give us a brochure and, you know, have us look into it and, and we'll get back to you. You know, but it's just... It was just one of the, it felt like a car salesman kind of pressure tactic that they yeah. were trying to use. Mm -hmm. You know, they're like, well, let me see your card. And yeah. beep, they scan it in the thing. They're like, oh, today's your lucky day. We're going to, you know, yeah. we're going to save you a lot of money. Well, you know, that's not really the case. And they're just trying to like, yeah, yeah. let's up everyone to the gold. And I'm sure it's some corporate push that they're pushing down to their store managers, which in turn are pushed down to their, you know, their front end managers to like try to upsell everyone onto it. Okay. It's their business, but you know, yeah. it just, I don't know, that's, that's kind of tacky for Costco. I, I look at them as pretty classy because they, you know, they, they, they're they very nice people, but that was real tacky by right. them. Bad move, Costco. Thumbs down. We're going golfing tomorrow. That's exciting. We're going to, um, we live next to a country club that we go to quite often in the summer and the nicer months, so you can drive it down to there too that's how close we are to them so that's pretty cool and um yeah that's about it for right now oh my gosh look at oh you can't see probably with the, that was with that a car, car wash? wash oh wow. I, need, I need my car wash really really bad hey I, we gotta go get it done today i'm not a i'm not that person that has a dirty car I'm kind of well we, we've been spoiled from where we've lived before yeah uh you know because we had, you could buy like a monthly pass to go to the car wash. Traffic's not 
too bad today. Not as bad as we've seen, believe me. So we went to uh, two of the golf cart places. Both of them were closed. That kind of stunk. Yeah. Um, we got to see some outside of one of them, but they're like pimped out golf carts and it's not really kind of what we're looking for. So Just basic. A basic one to start with. And then if you want to add something like a stereo or different kind of wheels or mm -hmm. something like that or you know like a back seat my ultimate golf cart to have for us would be one that can like fold down and put golf clubs in and then fold a seat back up so if you want to take some of your friends somewhere you know yeah. just go maybe cruise around the neighbor neighborhood or something yeah so that's kind of what we're looking for and we uh they did have those but way too expensive for what we want to spend and down here for some reason the golf cart market and i'm sure in florida and states like arizona as well where it's really you know you, the golf carts are legal to drive on the road they just really jack the price on them because there's a demand for them so i that's you're probably looking at almost a thousand dollars more i think yeah per golf cart it's, which is you know if that's what they can get fine but you know if you're a consumer like us trying to buy one you're kind of like no, I don't think I need to pay that much for a golf cart. That's, so, yeah. that's the Costco. We're rolling the in Costco. here. I'm trying to look to see what the gas We may only have to sit through two lights. No, I, I think you're going to be hitting the red and you'll be good. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. I was looking for the gas prices because we need to get gas. Oh, yeah, the gas sign is now. I bet you it's because it's been too windy. It's, oh, that's true. You know, the past couple days have been windy. So what are you guys' gas prices? Ours was down to, last time we went here, two, week, two weeks ago today, we paid... 172 a gallon so gas has gone up since um on the corner where we live is a 7-eleven and it has gone up to 199 and it came back down overnight to 189 so that's why i'm curious to see how much gas is here because it's usually cheaper at costco and um yeah so it's a beautiful day I'm looking showing, the, showing the traffic the people yeah. and the traffic at costco oh, yeah. is just it's like crazy absolutely cray cray so um yeah, so we're here at Costco. Gonna get a bite to eat. Don't ever shop hungry here. You'll buy everything. I have no reason to go grocery shopping next weekend. No reason to go grocery shopping. Right. I think we've got <laughs> done with Costco. Waiting in line to get out of Costco. We had a successful shopping trip. Stayed in budget, correct? That is true. It's our one month. We yeah. decided while we were there, instead of making yeah. it three, we're gonna make it four weeks. Yeah without having to run to the grocery store for anything significant. So we've got a lot of stuff to show you guys. I'll do a haul when we get home. So now we're just, uh, yeah, get, trying to get out of here. There's a lot of cars. I don't know if you can see, it's really bright out. It's 64 out today. So the reason we came today is we're actually gonna go golfing tomorrow. It's supposed to be 65. Yes. So today was supposed to be 60 to 64. I bet you hit 70, 70 tomorrow. tomorrow. That's what we're hoping for. Yeah. So that'll be fun. So sorry this is kind of turning into... That's February too. I know. Yes. Yeah. February 6th. Yep. What? Take that any day. I agree. So look how backed up it gets. That's what we were talking about when we were here earlier. It's That's to get to Costco, guys. Come on now. That lane right here is to get to Costco. Kind of messed up. So... Now we're going to go find our way home. We're going to go a different route because we're going to go straight. So we're going to go to Greens, right? Oh, yes, yes. Okay. So we're going to go get beer um, at this we'll little pick up a good micro, brew, micro or brew or something. And stop at the other <laughs> grocery store again. But this time, Bo's making us salsa tonight. And um, they don't sell cilantro or jalapenos or serranos or whatever pepper he wants to choose to put in there today. They don't sell it at Costco. So that's something that we do have to go to a regular grocery store for. Yeah, which is weird because their produce is really good. Maybe it's just one of those small selection items that, yeah. like, you know, we probably won't sell these in bulk. Probably won't. You yeah, probably wouldn't. Yeah. No. Yeah. Because we have a hard time in a regular grocery store getting fresh ones here. Yes, we do. In yeah. Arizona, they were amazing. Yeah, you're right. Arizona, oh, yeah. But the thing was, too, is you never knew, like, what, what the heat was. You could buy the exact same pepper, and then one day the heat's like, oh, that's fine. And the next time it's like, whoa. You know, it's like, not a huge difference, but there's significant yeah. where you can taste the difference. Yeah, so. But we got to run in there. It's worth the extra stop to get some good peppers. 
It is. And some yeah. cilantro. So, we're almost home. <laughs> almost done, yes. Almost done. I think it, it took us an hour yeah. in there. Costco haul. I'll give you a quick run through. Show you what we got. And then I got some stuff over there. So let's start off over here. I've got celery. We eat a lot of celery in this house. Creamer. Cannot have enough creamer in our house. But remember, this is a one month grocery haul, okay? And I got an angry Mitchie down there. He wants attention. All right, so I've got feta, crumbled feta, cheese, got some cashews, some English cucumbers, Parmesan cheese, big bag of spinach, two and a half pounds, I believe. Yes, two and a half pounds. I've got cheese. I've got organic eggs. If anyone goes to Costco, you know that organic eggs is the best deal in town, $6.99. And then I've got some lemons for marinades, salad dressings, and uh, water. Got some spring mix. Got some cauliflower. Bo's been, um, we we're usually on a broccoli kick, but he's kind of sick of that. So, like I said, more celery. This really does last a long time. This is three heads that um, has already been cleaned up. I think it's $3.99. We've got some black beans here. We've got some romaine lettuce. I've got some sweet sunburst tomatoes. I've got some pink lady apples. Um, let's see here. We've got some beautiful strawberries. And underneath that, I've got some, can you see that with the light? Some red seedless grapes. Got a big thing of tuna fish for our lunches. And then I've got <coughs> red pepper salt, red pepper sambra hummus. We've got some pistachios that have been shelled. All right, frozen veggies. I've got some organic green beans. That's a staple. I've got some mixed vegetables that have shelled edamame. And actually, you guys are going to think this is crazy. This is actually for my dog. I use this with rice and hamburger and sweet potato for his dinners. So this was a really good deal because I've never seen it at Costco before and maybe it's been there and I just haven't seen it, but um, that was a good find. I think it was like $6. So even we could eat it, but that's mainly for him. Then we've got stir fry veggies. And then I've got some wheat, whole wheat tortillas. I got shampoo and conditioner. We got some <clears throat> Greek yogurt, some croutons, nothing behind there. Got some avocados. It's a good deal um, there too. I think it's $5.50 or $5.99 for avocados. I've got some hot and sweet, sweet with heat. Pickles, toothpaste, hamburger meat, got squished. That's for Mitchie as well. And then I've got chicken breasts. You can tell I've got some chicken. Chicken breasts. There are two, three, there's six packets of two. And then I got some beautiful chicken thighs. So again, um, I bet you, I think there's four or five in each packet, and there's six of those as well. So that is our Costco haul. And then over here, we stopped at a Mexican restu er, restaurant, <laughs> Mexican grocery store. We need more mustard. We were lucky that they had that. Got some stuff to make tacos. Tonight we're gonna have chicken tacos with homemade salsa. So here's some serranos. The reason we went there was because of we need hot peppers. So we got that. I found this. I thought this was beautiful and it would match my decor. So I got that. This thing's pretty big. If you can see the size of my hand and how big it really is. Um, some beautiful, mm, good smelling cilantro, and then some uh, green onions. So that is our Costco haul and our grocery haul. This will last us a month, 
and now I need to go put it away. Good evening guys, it's about 8.30 and we're just now getting to prepare dinner. Bo made some amazing salsa. It's not your typical salsa. I used some of these golden sunbursts. Bo's not a tomato fan. And what do you think of the sunbursts? They're very good. They really are. They really are good. Mm -hmm. I think I, I picked the right ones. We were going to get red tomatoes, but these are good. So this is super hot, delicious. It's Bo's secret recipe. Love it. And we've eaten a lot of it already. <laughs> so now what we're making is... What are we making, babe? Uh, we are going to do some... Uh, this is chicken leg... Chicken thigh. Uh, sorry, chicken thigh. And what we're going to do is just season them up. I got some... Uh, Garlic powder. Mm -hmm. We got some smoked paprika and got some cumin. So we're gonna go for the Mexican vibe tonight. And I'm gonna also get some salt and pepper and throw that on there too. And uh, let these marinate and gel together for a little bit. Maybe throw them in a bag with some olive oil and uh, kind of let them rub together and sit for a little bit. Then we're gonna throw them on the grill. Then what we're gonna do is we are going to strip these down to the bone and we're gonna make tacos out of them. Mm -hmm. So, you know. It's the first time for us really doing this. We meant to get um, boneless and skinless. skinless, you know, chicken legs, thighs. Thighs. I keep <laughs> saying legs, but whatever thighs. And um, but we we just we were in the Costco kind of mix where you know you got like 90 other people around you, and we're just like, oh yeah, grab this, grab that. Yeah. And uh, so we're gonna season these up. So start with a little salt, kind of just you know spread it evenly, not too much. As Ann always tells me, you can, uh, you can never take away, you can always add, so just don't over, overdo it. So I just you know, hit them with a little salt and a little pepper just to go the distance here, just to gently cover them. We use all Penzi's spices. Uh, we just find that for ourselves and our own liking is that uh, we like the, the way that our spices taste. Their salt and pepper is fabulous. Their garlic powder is out of this world. So I'm going to take the garlic powder too and just kind of cover them with it. Bo's family really turned us on to Penzi's. At first we were like, order spices online. Like we thought that was so strange. So we were out of a catalog, really. It wasn't online when we first got them. Yeah, that's Out of a true. catalog. Mm -hmm. We thought it was strange until we tasted them. And now both of us don't agree. Don't want anything but. We don't, we don't do yeah. anything. We don't even yeah. like having to run out. So we buy. Order it online. We like bulk. Yeah. Apparently we're, we're bulk people. Oh, for sure. But this, you know, like my grandparents, they're the ones that really kind of turned us on to the, onto the Penzi spices. Mm -hmm. And it, it's easier to order them online. You know that they're good quality spices. But you don't have a Penzi store here in the Greenville area. so Or in it, South Carolina, period. Or in South Carolina, period. So we have to order them online, which is totally worth it. Plus it saves a trip going out there and trying to mm -hmm. find what you're looking for. So then next thing I do is I'm going to hit it with a little paprika. I just cover it generously because you want that nice smoke out of it. And uh, we usually do this with flank steak and make some tacos, and that's pretty good. Now, cumin is, you know, it's a good spice. It's so, oops, sorry, Mitchie. I just stepped on the Mitchie there. He likes to lay and try to catch any kind of droppings that, are, that we tend to drop when we're in the kitchen. But uh, cumin is a spice that, I, you know, I know I've known about it for years, but, like, really never incorporated it into anything, so. It's mostly, you, well, we've always used it in chili. Yeah, and chili. Well, Ann's used it more so than me. But then one day, I busted it out with his flank steaks, and we um, put, them up, put it on there, and then made some tacos out of it, and it was just like out of this world. It just added a whole other dimension to it. I'm going to grab some tongs over here. And... Well, cumin is uh, known in the, in the Mexican cooking world. I mean, that's what you put it in. It's like Mexican cooking or chili or anything like that, and it's amazing. It's amazing spice. Oh, I can smell it right now. It smells so good. It does, too. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> good stuff. Yeah, we, we do this exact recipe on a flank steak. So we thought instead, we're trying not to eat red meat. Not that we ever ate a lot of red meat. Just once a week. We were talking about this earlier. But um, we're trying to do something a little bit different. We bought chicken thighs this week instead of flank steak. And um, we're trying to explore and ex expand our palate. Right, babe? Yes. I agree. Trying to be a little, I don't know how much healthier this is. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Well, you know, we're going to use a little bit of olive oil, so there's some fat in there, but it's kind of a good fat. It's a good fat, so, yeah. So, you know, you don't have to you know, worry about it too much. But, you know, again, with the garlic powder, you just, you know, hit it to where you cover it, just enough to get that flavor. You get too much, and it's just, like, overpowering. So, especially if you decide to go with the Penzi spices, 
you know, it's like just cover it and go with it. You go a little more and you just, you know, you're like, oh man, I just overspiced that. So it's definitely a learning thing. Although their paprika, it tends to go pretty well. Um, you know, I just, it's kind of hard to spread this because it's really, really powdery. So. Yeah, I buy the sweet paprika. See, we'll show you. Can you see that? Yeah. Right. Good stuff. So now I'm blasting the other side with some cumin here. So, and then this is all going to come off too. So this meat is going to come off the bone and hope, you know, we'll have all, yeah, we're all gonna... the spices. This is the first time really doing it on chicken thighs. Did I say yeah. that right? I... No, you did. You did. Yeah. We're actually, um, I, like I, like Bo said earlier, we were supposed to get boneless skinless. I, that's what we were going to try. So what I'm going to do is cook it. We're going to cook it with the fat on it to keep the flavor in. And then I'm going to take the skin off and debone it and make it, you know, edible for tacos. So... So the next thing I do is grab a big old, this is a gallon quart size or whatever size this is, mm -hmm. something enough to fit your meat in, it's Ziploc, so you don't have to worry about anything kind of spilling out. Just grab these puppies, you got all our spices on, you'll lose a little bit of spices, but you know, don't worry about it because you, you still got the core of everything you want on there. Now we don't have any um, limes, we decided not to go with limes this week, we went with lemons. We, can, we have an extra lemon over there if you feel... No, I never put lemon in. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So this is just a little olive oil like this. And you can use vegetable oil too if you don't like olive oil. This just pretty much is just like helps everything smear around in the bag. Mm -hmm. So you can like coat everything. But remember, olive oil burns. It's not a very high heat oil. So if you use it, you know, just remember you can burn olive oil easy. And it leaves kind of like a funky taste on things. So... He's got to be careful with it, but if you don't use too much, you really don't get it, but you'll still get your job accomplished. And it's just, it's a healthier oil for you. So then what I do is I take the bag like this, mush it around, and you can see how the spices just kind of gel and they stick to the meat. And I'll leave it in here for 15, 20 minutes, you know. It's a quick marinade. It's a quick marinade, you know. You can leave it longer. Yeah, you can leave it longer, you Up know. Up to a day, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you could, you choose if you wanted to, you could brine this stuff and then, you know, do it that way. But Ooh, we should show them how we brine. Yeah, we could do that sometime. Pork chop. Yes. But then, you know, I just massage it. And, you know, it's kind of cool because you're not getting your hands dirty, but yet you're like, oh, I'm adding to the process of the marinade. What are you doing, buddy? He was just in the closet over there. Probably smelling some food or something like that. Who knows? Where are you going, buddy? Going outside? Is your mommy out there? I bet she is. I know. Look at it. It never smokes. Oh, wow. Yeah, we, we had that up too high. Word to the wise. If uh, you're going to fry up your tortillas like we're going to do. Tortillas. That is way too hot. And that's my fault because I left it on a little too high when I started it. I'm like, oh, let's get this going quick. But, uh, so you, you definitely want to lower flame on that, which I usually know, not that, that oil is actually burning. So I'm scared to use it right now. Look at yeah, it. Yeah, it needs to calm down a little bit. I know, I know. So yeah, if that happens, just let it calm down. It should still be fine. What we're gonna do is take these puppies out here, throw them on the grill. Now, as you've seen, her thing was smoking before. So now it should be calmed down. Aunt says she's ripping out here, so she's ready for me. How's it going, baby? Baby. You got some good frying going on there? Yeah, they're trying to roll brown. Some good tacos? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. Alright, cool. Get me in my all no, ma no makeup look. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. You see them all? So it looks like I need to go in and get some tongs. Don't so. let that sit against the cap. No, it's not, it's not sitting against it. My beer is sitting right next to it and half my beer is warm. Oh, really? Well, this stinks. Yeah. Yeah. Tonight. Oh, yeah, we got a conglomeration of good stuff. I'm going to clean the grill up a little bit here. Taste good. It's our Friday. Or 
<laughs> That's our weekend. It's our weekend. We like to make, during the week we eat really boring. Yes, we do. You know, beans now, chicken. Got some neighbors that are, I, I haven't heard neighbors since we moved in. We have a lot of Me woods neither. behind us. Yeah. We can can't definitely way. can't see that. That's so dark. It is. I love our house. I told Bo that um, we picked the, must have picked the right house because I never want to leave it. And we even live in a new area to us, so like adventure is like should be on our you know on our list of things to do. But we love our house and we don't ever want to go anywhere. <laughs> this is the chicken. Looks amazing. I wish there was smell vision because this smells so heavenly. Bye guys, see you tomorrow.